Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here, and a video today that's more of a warning than anything. Interest rates on bank savings accounts have fallen to just 0.05%. That's 1 20th of what it was just last year and a fraction of what you used to earn on your savings. Just a few years ago, you could find high yield savings accounts with 3 and 4% interest. Now it's basically zero. And this could be just the beginning of an era where you pay the banks to hold your money. Interest rates in Europe have turned negative. Savers have to pay the banks for a savings account. In fact, you're already losing money on every dollar you have in a savings account. Because the interest rate on savings is below inflation, you're losing almost 2.5% on your money every single year. For every $100 you have in savings, you'll lose $12 of it every 5 years. In this video, I'll show you not only how to stop losing money on your savings, but how to make up to 150 times more on a high interest savings account. I'll explain how to set it up, why it's not too good to be true, and take you inside the best high yield savings account you'll find. Stick around though and at the end of the video, I'll also show you how to get a bonus return on your savings. Now to understand what's going on and why it could get worse, know that when the Federal Reserve wants to juice the economy, it lowers interest rates. Here you see, just in the last two years, the central bank's base rate has fallen off a cliff from almost 2.5% to nothing. And the thinking goes here that the less people are making on their savings, the less likely they are to save. The government is trying to force you to spend that money because why hold it in a savings account if you're going to lose money? So Chair Powell and the Fed has turned on the printing machine and held rates near zero. That's dropped the bank interest rate on savings down to 0.05% and even high interest online savings are paying 1% or less. The average household has $5,300 in savings and another $2,000 in emergency cash. Even with inflation as low as 2.5%, that means you're losing $178 a year. That's nearly $200 a year that you're going to lose because the average savings interest rate is below inflation. And that could be about to get worse. Data from the Fed shows consumer inflation jumped to 5% last month. You're now losing 5% of your money every single year it sits in savings. On that average household savings balance, that's $361 lost every single year. There is a solution, but it's not one that most people understand. In fact, you're probably going to think it's too good to be true, so let me explain. There is a huge demand for stablecoins right now from money managers, institutional funds, and banks. Now, stablecoins are just a type of cryptocurrency that locks its value to the dollar. It does this by holding a reserve of dollars, so, so that price of the stablecoin stays at that constant value of $1 each. For example, the USD coin, or USDC, is a stablecoin backed dollar for dollar in a vault account. And now to a money nerd like myself, the way these are being used in business and in finance is like watching fireworks on the 4th of July. Because of the speed and low cost transactions, stablecoins are being used in international money transfers and to close contracts. Money managers are also using these in arbitrage trading, borrowing in stablecoins to buy other cryptocurrencies, then buying and selling on different crypto platforms to make that risk-free profit. Now, all this has come together to create huge demand for stablecoin lending, and the cryptocurrency platforms are able to offer interest rates on your deposits that are up to 100 times and more what you earn in a bank savings account. Now, I'm going to show you those rates and explain how this works, but this is something you have to see. You open an account just like any online bank account, uh, transfer your savings, and then keep it in stable coins on the platform, and then you're going to earn interest on that. You're going to earn that high yield interest every day it's in there. Here you see the interest rates offered on the BlockFi platform. That's the one I use. Now, I use the platform to earn interest on my Bitcoin and Ethereum, but if you scroll down here, you can see the rates offered on stable coins like the USDC, Gemini USD, PAX, and the USDT interest rates as high as 7.5% on your money. Which again, I know, it seems too good to be true. Like, I feel like more people would sign up if they only offered maybe a 4% interest because then you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. But let me explain how they can do this and how this works. BlockFi is a cryptocurrency platform where you can buy, sell, and trade coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stable coins. There are no fees to buy or store your coins on BlockFi because that's not how it makes money. BlockFi makes money by lending out the crypto held on its platform to those money managers and the traders with that demand for it in finance and clearing. In fact, I'll leave a link to BlockFi in the description below for a special interest rate boost on your savings. So BlockFi is able to earn an interest rate on that lending and then it's going to share some of that with you for letting it lend out your stablecoins. The platform requires collateral from its borrowers and then sets loan to value rates that make sure even if a borrower gets into trouble, 
it's still gonna be able to pay back that loan. BlockFi also keeps a portion of its assets with third parties like Gemini and Fidelity, as well as hedging some of its risks so it can be sure to pay all the interest owed to account holders. I know this is a completely new idea in savings, and the first thing you're wondering is, is BlockFi safe? Understand that BlockFi is not a bank, so the money that you have on the platform is not FDI insured like it is with a regular savings account. It does follow regulations set by the federal government and the states though. In fact, it's one of the few cryptocurrency platforms based in the United States. It uses top-level online security and is regulated by the New York Department of Financial Services. Now, I use the USDC for my stablecoin savings, though they're all pretty much the same because of that peg to the dollar. The USD is the eighth largest cryptocurrency by market cap with almost $26 billion in coins, and you can see the power here in its volume. Even though it's only the eighth largest, its two billion coins volume makes it the sixth largest by volume because of that demand. Setting up an account here is almost comical how easy it is. In fact, it's probably gonna take me longer to explain than it actually did to set one up. BlockFi allows you to transfer in crypto or other coins from another platform or deposit directly from your bank account. You start here with your first and last name, then verifying your email address and choosing a password. You can set up an individual account or one for your business, and then you're gonna pick your country. And yeah, it sucks that crypto platforms are getting less anonymous, asking for some of this information, but it's still a lot more anonymous than setting up an investing account. Next, you'll put in your address, your phone number, date of birth, and a source of your funds. And that's it. You verify your account with a text message to your phone and you're all set up in less time than it takes you to call up your bank and tell them to shove their 0% interest rate. Once you're set up, it's easy to earn that high interest on your savings. You can deposit directly from your bank account and then buy stable coins with that money. This turns it into a, like a digital savings because those stable coins are gonna keep their value at a dollar each. You'll earn interest every day you have that money in the account and BlockFi provides an easy calculator to show you exactly how much you can earn. On that average household savings balance of $5,300, you can earn more than $560 a year and over 5,000 over a decade. Even better though, right now you can get a bonus interest rate on your stable coins if you sign up for BlockFi using the link I'll leave in the video description below. Because that demand is so high, BlockFi is offering a bonus 1.4% on your stablecoin balance through the end of July. That's an extra $74 annually on the average balance versus just $2.65 in interest you're going to earn on that regular bank account. $74 or $2, the choice is yours. Don't forget to look for that link below to get your special interest rate boost. Click on the video to the right to see how I earn interest on all my cryptocurrencies and why I use BlockFi. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.